The ACC's Technical Advisory Service has been receiving calls about O2 sensors with strange voltage readings. However, this could be the normal reading from a wideband oxygen sensor, or as they are more commonly called, air fuel ratio sensors. These sensors operate on a different principle than the more common narrowband O2 sensors. Narrowband O2 sensors tell the ECU that the engine is running rich or lean via a variable output voltage that they create. Wideband sensors commonly have a constant voltage of about 3 volts supplied by the ECU. The amount of current required to keep this voltage the same is how the ECU knows if the air fuel ratio is rich or lean. There are two measurement chambers in the sensor, one exposed to the exhaust gases and the other exposed to the outside atmosphere. The current is varied to maintain a lambda reading of 1, which balances the chambers. These sensors suffer from the same issues as older narrowband sensors. If they are old or contaminated, they can become slow or send a false signal to the ECU. To test wideband sensors, you should compare the fuel trim readings via the live data on a scan tool with the readings of an exhaust gas analyzer. You can then make the engine run lean by creating a vacuum leak or run rich by spraying a starting agent into the intake. The scan tool readings and the gas analyzer should change accordingly. If the scan tool does not register the change in mixture, the sensor may be at fault. The sensor's heating element is critical, and if there is a fault in this circuit, the sensor will not operate correctly. These sensors are expensive, so it is recommended that you test them first before replacing them unnecessarily. For the operation of wideband O2 sensors, see the May 2017 issue of Tech Talk. Log on to Tech Online or call VACC's Technical Advisory Service.